What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you how to upgrade your MSI laptop. So I'm going to unplug everything from the side right here. And I have one 8 gig memory stick inside here. And it barely, it doesn't really get a, um, yeah I don't get 60 frames per second playing gaming. So what was recommended is this right here. Crucial. DDR5. Now some MSI um, laptops take DDR4. This one, this model takes DDR5. So if you have MSI laptop, this is the A15 model. So what you're going to have to do is um, look at the bottom sticker. And I think it's uh, right here. This sticker right there. So you look at the sticker number and mine is thin a15 and if this is your model then it takes ddr5 all right and that is a15 b7 ucx-218 us and there's a lot more numbers after that if you want to pause the screen and look at it and this is the manufacturer date. First thing you want to do is, of course, power down the laptop. So under this sticker is a screw. So once you puncture that sticker, it avoids the warranty. So keep that in mind. Oh, it's turned on. I have to power it off. Hold the button down. There's clips in there, so you just gotta slide this over. So right here you want to turn it this way and so you want to lift this side up and then push it forward push it this way like that and it comes right off because if you try to take it straight off you're going to end up bedding the, the board or cracking the board so you don't want to lift it straight out so you have to push the cover that way here's the ram right here the memory and there's an empty slot right here. And this is the drive. If you want to upgrade your SSD. You want to remove the battery first. Unplug the battery. Just use your two fingernails. Don't pull on the wire. You could rip the wire right out. Just put your fingernails on the side of that. Walk it right out. And just wiggle it. Keep on wiggling it. There you go. And now it won't turn on by accident. So remove. The RAM is easy to do. And so you want to pull the two side tabs, the silver tabs, and it comes popping out like that. And you remove it. So the notch is important. Make sure you know where the notch is right there. You cannot put it this way. It's, it won't let you. And this is a Samsung 8 gig DDR5. So as you can see right here, we're going to put in a 32 gig. So it went from 8 gig now to 32 gig. And this was highly recommended if you want to play your games at 60 FPS. Not only am I getting, improving on the size, it's also high speed RAM too as well. There we go. And whatever you do, don't do this on carpet. You want to grab the sides. And make sure you don't touch the copper. So 
stuff like that. Like that. Hold it like that. Right, so I'm going to put it in. Yeah, if you just put it in like that. Make sure the copper is not seen. Push down and it should automatically lock. And you do the same thing for this side. Grab the sides. Go ahead and line up the notch. And put in diagonal like that. Make sure you don't see the copper. Make sure it's in all the way. Push down until it clicks. Just like that. All right, so it looks like we're good here. And we want to save this, of course. So let's see if the computer doesn't turn on. You could have bad RAM and you put the original RAM back in and if it does turn on, then you know that the RAM sticks are bad. So usually in my case, uh, that happens to me like one time where I installed new RAM, it failed on me within the year and then I put in the original RAM, I took out the old RAM, put in the original RAM and the computer booted and ended up booting back up and working. So. Keep that in mind. Uh, oh, we got to put the battery, plug in the battery, of course. There we go, that's plugged in. Now let's go ahead, double check your work, make sure everything's flush. And this part, you line up the ports. So remember, you have to put it in like this. Put it in this side first, and then you clamp down. Yeah, when you screw it down, it should um, snap in more. Go ahead and um, flip it around. Oh, oh, I got the wrong uh, keyboard cover. As you can see, this one doesn't fit right here. These are the wrong buttons for a different S, uh, MSI model. So I got this keyboard cover, which should be the right one, but they're very inexpensive. So I think it's worth it. Oh yeah, this one fits perfect. It kind of, you don't even really notice it, especially the one that fits perfect. And they go right over the keys, so if you lift up your laptop, it doesn't fall off. See? So it stays on really well. The storage used is 318 gigabytes of 477 gigabytes used. And that's the SSD. And then the graphics card is four gigs. This is a GeForce RTX Nvidia. And then uh, my RAM, it's upgraded now to a 32 gig. Oh, uh, it looks like the speed, and this might be um, limited to the motherboard, 4800. And then my processor is AMD Ryzen 5 which is 3.3 .3 gigahertz. And this is Windows 11. Hopefully all that info helps you out.